How's it going tonight, guys? Oh my gosh, Mr. Keeps, thank you so much. I'm just starting right now. I turned out perfectly. Hope you had a good stream. I wasn't able to catch it. I actually just got a haircut, so let's go to the main camera. How's everybody doing tonight? Thanks for tuning in. Hey, Visionaire. Thanks for the follow, man. So tonight I will be building a uh, fuzzy camera. I don't know if I could say that name. <laughs> thank you for the follow, though. Burning the ham. Thank you for the follow. Where is my my focus? Always messes up. There we go. Okay. UB, thank you for the follow, man. Kill board. Thank you for the follow. Uh, Fush, Fushu, bro. Thanks for the follow. Scuff stream. Yeah, a little bit of a scuff stream right now. Um, so tonight I'll be building a, uh, I think, 6.5 that a friend uh, dropped off for me yesterday. He's actually moving to Europe. So the reason why the title of this stream is uh, Any ISO Avail is because we're going to be doing an ISO build. So... I also have a special guest, uh, my friend, her dog, Button. You can kind of see him in the background. He's eating some food right now. Uh, it's a little Pomeranian. Uh, watching. Oof, Toki, you're not even going to watch tonight? Talisman, I wanted to thank you so much for the 5,444 bits. Um, that was unexpected. I logged into today and was like, wait a minute. Did... Oh my gosh. <laughs> so, thank you so much. Big shout out to you. So, this is the top of the box. Mr. Keeves, thank you for the follow, man. Let's see. Oh. Man, he didn't even, like, he didn't even open the box, it looks like. It's still in the plastic wrap, shrink wrap. Oh, I can't wait. I'm excited to try this board out, but I was actually going to loop switches tonight. Uh, and the reason why I didn't was because uh, he's actually leaving for, uh, they're moving back to Denmark. He's leaving on Friday. So if I didn't build this board <laughs> this week, uh, I'd have to ship it to him. And I really don't want to do that. So. Oh, Functional, you have one too? I was I, I was on the fence about buying one. I, I actually didn't buy one. Uh, I think I chose the E6.5 over this when the time was came around. So there's a note saying don't over tighten the screws. Which... Typically, I have a bad habit of doing that. I don't do it too, too over tight, but for this one, I won't. I'll respect the wishes of the board. So, oh, wow. You sold that. Yeah, see, that was a smart decision if you think about it, because you're buying two. That way you can choose which one you like more and then just sell the other one. So, let's see. I actually don't have my knife anymore. I'm gonna, oh, there we go. Just opens like that. I like the frostedness on this one. It's different from the E6.5, the way it that felt. And I think the most frosted board that I've ever felt for Poly was the 268.2, which was a really good board. Oh, nice, Burn. What's up? Nox, Noxy. Tyson Nugget. That needs to be an emote, man. I'll get that going. 
See, integrated plates typically aren't my thing. That's what had me on the fence too. Um, the last integrated plate board that I owned was a, uh, oh wow, this, so the, they have four screws which are different from the middle screws. That's a smaller, that's interesting. But yeah, the one, the last integrated plate board I had was a um, Nui Mini, the uh, ortho board, so. What's up, Halo? How you doing tonight, man? I'm doing this stream tonight because I don't think I'm going to be able to do one tomorrow. I actually got an email from Twitch telling me that uh, you get more followers if you try to do it on a holiday. And I was like, that's, that's an interesting tip. Yeah. That's also why I didn't go with an M660A. I really want to, like, I started looking into the M65B, uh, and um, I think that's an integrated, or not an integrated play, that's a, uh, what is it? Gasket mount. I want to say that one's a gasket mount. It could be top mount, but from, like, the pictures that I was seeing, it didn't, like, I couldn't tell, because, like, it comes with a, what I think is a gasket that... Is basically like foam for the uh, in between the PCB and the plate, but the uh, it also goes in like on the plate, which is weird. Muted plate, yeah, yeah. That's I I want to say it's it's basically gasket with. Uh, I can't get these. Let's get the other screws. Something around like gasket. So I already have my volcano, which is gasket, and I love that gasket. So these uh, drop holy pandas that I have aren't lubed. They're just going in stock. So I'm going to test them out to make sure that I don't put like inconsistent ones. Because that's big yikes. Yeah, hopefully there's not, there's not ping, but... We'll see. I've never tested it on an integrated plate. The last Holy Panda board that I built was an East or a, a 268.2, and that was just stock Holy Pandas, and those sounded pretty good. <laughs> True. You think I'm getting there, Talisman? I enjoy doing this. I have a lot of fun. I actually have, I think it's on the way. Um, so I'm building this board tonight. I have a uh, KVD 67 at home and a um, Satisfaction 75 coming in, so. So top five boards, Tire God. Um, I'd have to say number one's probably a Bauer. Um, that build stream will be coming up next month. I'm excited for that. Puts links in chat. Links for what? Uh, so, okay, let's go. Uh, Bauer, Volcano, um, Osa, or I guess Alice, uh, let me think, what else, that's just three, uh, 268.1, a lot of people don't like those, but, um, Ooh, there we go. The 268.1 is a, uh, I love the angle. That, like, the way it sits incline is, oh. Ah, there we go, Shoda. Thank you so much. You have to get more mods. 
Um, so I named four. Fifth one probably is. Let's see. I know, right? What screws? Nope. Oh. oh. Let's try to finagle it. What is this place in on? <laughs> Why is this? Is this plate screwed in? Oh. Hmm. That's interesting. We'll see. Yeah, yeah, you have. You've been here every stream too, so. Give me a second, I'll, I'll make you a mod in a minute. So. This goes with that screw. Where's the last screw? Oh, there it is. I really like that badge. PVD badge. Oh, my light's not on. I just realized that actually it is, but. There we go. Sorry about that. Ooh, what is this on the inside? What's up, bud? My friend left. She lives in my apartment complex. She left uh, to go to Dallas for Thanksgiving. So I love Button. He's super chill. He doesn't bark. Button, you're too close to the fan. No. <laughs> but um, this poly has... Oh, it's just dust. That's all it is. I think it's a small one for these two. Yes, the plate is screwed in. Look at that. Six mounting points, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, PCB has gold screws, which is a nice touch. <laughs> oh, God. Please, no. Buttons a boy. <laughs> this PCB is really nice. I like the design of it. Got a lot of LEDs too. Oh, my friend Katie? Maybe. Oh my gosh. The man did it, Mr. Teha Types. <laughs> I feel bad because I actually wasn't watching the stream today. How's it going, Nathan? Holy pandas aren't great. Oh my. I know, I know. I like holy pandas though. Too bad this board's not mine. This is a for a friend. So here's a PCB. I still need to get it out and test test it on that. How's it going tonight, everybody? Let's see. Oh, oh wow! I I didn't realize the switch up top has or the the top one has LEDs around it. Oh. Thank you guys all so much for the follows. Um, let's see. So I got Andrian, 100 Rats, Vinian, Adam, Nerb Serino, Little Pie, Frances. It's Dave Moo, Class TV. Thank you guys all so much. Hey, what's up, Krasan? Happy holidays, everybody. Let's see. Let me open Switch Hitter first. Let's see. I thought I had it right here. Where's it at? Hope everybody's doing all right tonight. Where did I put switch hitter? Here we go. Uh, let me just look at my board. Let's see. Uh, 
Yeah. So tonight I'm building a Thanks Inks Point Five board for someone who's about to leave out of the country. So let's see. Just keep the mustache. You think? There we go. All right. I need space in my room. Yeah, this is an ISO build too, so. Let's see. I think I have this and let's go to add <laughs> How's it going tonight, Soran? I thought I had a setup for it. Actually, there we go. Okay. Texas is going pretty well. It's, it's a little chilly today. I'm wearing a sweater, but... Could be worse. Austin's pretty good. Uh, I haven't been up there and actually I just went last weekend. What am I saying? So Chile for Texas is uh, about 47 <laughs> Actually, I forgot to ask the customer. I don't know if he's in chat um if you wanted split backspace or uh, regular backspace. Let's see. I didn't know ISO enter. What's going to trip me up is over here. I'm so used to putting the shift key. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, my gosh. Austin is great for parties, man. Probably normal backspace. Yeah. Oh, you, you know what? You're right. You're right. Normal backspace would probably be the way to go. Okay, that worked. So in this one we're building, uh, I have a brand new set of DMG right here that we're going to use. And then he wanted to put Zeal Stabs in this build, but unfortunately Zeal never shipped them. Um, I'm pretty sure that was by accident. Um, so he had to get some from Novel Keys. So right now we have Novel Keys screwing stabs. And I'll be looping those in a second. So. I think this board, can this board do 7U? I'm gonna do 6.25 because that's what he told me, so. All right, sweet, the whole board works. We're good to go for that. I don't know if any of you guys are looking for a key set, but right now Dixie Mech has GMK uh, Terra running good friend of mine uh Rensuya set he'll be i think that ends in two days three days around there so oh yeah do you guys want to see my dmg keyboard i actually have that sitting to the side before we get started with this build i'll show you guys that slim connector like this the disconnect this is a fake Limo cable. Um, I don't have a real one. The person that I, I accidentally bought it from, uh, or not accidentally, but they didn't realize it wasn't a real Limo at the time. It was a Flemo. Yeah. Let me get that DMG board real quick.
Vinan, how how you doing today, man? So this is my Game Boy keyboard. You can kind of see the top text. Oh, 3 a.m. Thank you so much for the follow. Phantasma, thank you for the follow. Yeah, this one's GMK DMG. I think round two just ended. Looped Helios, thank you so much for the follow, man. Nice to talk to you again. Yeah, thank you. Functional, if you're going to go out to the SoCal meetup, or if any of you guys are going to the SoCal meetup, I have this. Uh, I'll have this there. This is one of the boards I'm taking. So... My focus is, like, not the greatest. Actually, I actually have it turned off. That way it doesn't actually, like, mess up. But let's turn it on real quick. Let's see. And then dot matrix with stereo sound. I wanted to make sure it looked like a Game Boy. So I had to get those two. Oh, that stinks functional. Maybe another time, man. It's always next time. Let's see. Yeah, this is just a regular uh, X60. I also engraved a T into the back. I totally forgot about TX. So I've engraved a T for Tyson or Texas. Could be either one. But this is a Tyson's X60 or Texas 60 keyboard. Yeah, also, I infilled the weight the other night, but when I was trying to clean the weight off, it uh, too much of the paint came off because the the, in, or the uh, engraving is too thin. So I couldn't, um, I couldn't keep it on there. So... Do I need to take the badge off for this? I don't think I have to. That can just stay in there. That badge is really nice too. Yeah, Texas 60, we got, oh, thank you for the Wikipedia page for Texas, uh, Shoda. <laughs> the light of the elite 21, the elite of the elite 21. Thank you so much for the follow, man. So, let's see. Let's get started on looming these stabs for this build. This one shouldn't be too, too long. Pretty short build. Oh, what did he put in here? Oh, came with screws and everything. Nebulant, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Game Boy Colors bits, ooh. What is in here? Oh, the bump-ons. Okay, so this is just the stickers. Wow, it comes with all, oh, wow. All the bits for the screws. That's awesome. This is a super, super nifty kit. These stabs are screw-in stabs, right? Yes. Okay. Ooh. So he sent. Oh, no. okay. Here we go. Screw-in stabs. Thank God. GMK. From my understanding, this six point two five is gonna scratch, but we'll see. <laughs> You know what it is, uh, Nipserino? It's probably the music, man. And the, the, the personality. Uh, people people stay up. 6.2 bad isn't as bad as 7U for the scratchiness, you think? We'll see. We'll test that out. Oh, yeah. Uh, Dut, those uh, Holy Pandas, I looked at them today, and they have, what is it? 100 and they had a 111 but they're up to 130 and 180 and man oh man the prices started off at like 240 for them so i was like oof functional thank you so much for stopping by man it's always an honor to have you stop by uh, i'll talk to you in a little while man have a nice dinner or have a nice night
Oh, I showed this last time on stream, but I got a water bottle with... Oh, Talisman, thank you for the uh, gifted sub to Geo. <laughs> Geo, welcome to um, my sub club. I got, uh, got two emotes, so enjoy those. Master Zebra, thank you for the follow. I don't stream full time. No, I, I'm not fortunate enough like Nathan. <laughs> I uh, work IT, and today we actually got off early for um, Thanksgiving here in the States. Got off at noon today, so. <laughs> Shutterfly water bottle? No, uh, it might be. This one I got from Microsoft. My boss brought it back for me for when he went to Ignite. So. Oh. Talisman, thank you for gifting a sub to uh, Teha Types. Teha Types, welcome back to uh, my sub club. <laughs> you know what? I think that's what I'm going to call it. Taihao Types. Taobao Types. Alternate names. You know, I had somebody donate the other day that was... Uh, oh, what was it? Taiho types on rubber domes. Or Teha types on rubber domes. And then I had uh, someone donate some money named Tyson Builds with an S. Or Tyson Build. Just Tyson Build, which I was like, huh, interesting. I added some more commands uh, to Nightbot. So I think. Exclamation point build works tonight. Uh, Talisman. Oh, thank you for on a roll with the subs tonight, man. Thank you for gifting it to Soran. Mike Tyson builds. That'd be fun to watch. I'd, I'd be down to watch that. Mike Tyson building keyboards. Heck, he probably doesn't know what a, what a mechanical keyboard even is. <laughs> That'd be interesting to teach him, though. Hey guys, this is my build. <laughs> Poor dude. <laughs> Sub love, there we go. Tire God's got the emote. Talisman, oh man. What is that? Four subs tonight? You're you're crazy, man. Thank you. <laughs> Pabu, thank you for following, man. Nathan takes a little bit. I don't know if he takes forever. I take a while to loop switches on uh, my builds. I loop, uh, or on my stuff that I, switches I loop, I, uh, oh man, I did 220 the other night and that took me 17 hours from sitting down, start to finish. I did, um, I was watching the top clack, or not the top clack, the uh, mechs on deck. They had their 24 hour stream. I was with them for a good 17 hours. So that, yeah. I was dedicated to, to making sure that that client got all his switches lubed. So, yeah, I mean, at least I was entertained. I, I, I didn't want to blow my brains out because like I had friends that I was watching and then I took breaks and we played like a couple games and stuff. So it wasn't that bad. So yeah, that stream was crazy. It was fun to watch. Fun to hang out with them. They do some good builds and they're they're fun to hang out with. They actually live in Texas, so I met them at a couple of meetups, so.
Neil deGrasse Tyson builds would be amazing. See, that would be interesting to get him to build a keyboard. I feel like he would get behind the science of it. And then go, like, hardcore into, like, Hall Effect switches. And what they were used on. I feel like he would know that. I don't know why. I think... Marquise Brownlee might be getting into the dive of keyboards. So... We'll see. He liked that bower that Dixie rendered up for him. That was, uh, something. <laughs> Mar... Marquise Brownlee. Ah, <laughs> uh, Will Smith. Yeah, Neil deGrasse Tyson knows a lot. He's just having another um, season of Nova come out, I think, or it's about to come out. Chipyu, thank you for the follow. The genie. So has anybody seen uh, the Aladdin movie? The one with Will Smith as the genie. Because I, I kind of like Disney movies. Neo Jonathan, thank you for the follow, man. I have. It's weird. Let's see. You're going to get modded, Shota. Don't worry. You'll get modded. Rub my koala. Thank you for following, man. You haven't watched Gamble, yeah. I I've been kind of skeptical. Well, I guess the one remake I started watching was um, which one? Lady and the Tramp, the live action one. wasn't too bad. I've been trying to watch stuff on Disney Plus to justify the cost of it. So, top five switches, okay. Neb. He's. <laughs> <laughs> good point um so for five switches they're all going to be linears um i would have to start off with number five is going to be uh probably tangerines and then um Probably Helios. Then I'd say... Three would be Vent Blacks. Two would be Creams. And then one would be Telios. And all of these would be lubed with 205G0. I love the way Telios feel lubed with 205G0. This stuff right here. I use it for stabs. I tried using Cristo 129 for uh, stabs and it didn't turn out as good as I wanted it to so let's see the baby Yoda memes are pretty great Neptorino why don't you just use a VPN to get the NA version of Disney Plus Got a lot of good shows on there. When is it coming out for other countries? 129 feels a little bit... Yeah, you're right. Because I do love it for switches. You can... So if you're not proficient in lubing, like if, if it's your first time lubing and you want to lube some t uh, linear switches and you don't know how much lube to use, I feel that... Um, the... Cristo 129 lube is good to bag lube because it gets it consistent and um, it doesn't feel that bad. I did that for a bit. I did that for some like, uh, what was it? Gat inks. Oh shoot. I forgot to put Gat inks on that list of top fives. I take that back. Uh, tangerines aren't number five. Uh, Gat inks are number five. 
No, God Inks are probably like number two or three. Move it around a little bit. They're all good switches. Linears are... Linears have just gotten to the point where, like, they're all good. They're all smooth. Petchka777, thanks for the follow, man. Where's the top of this board? Oh, the bar goes on top. Okay. Top five key sets. Okay. Uh, can the top five key sets include my own GK Ashes? Probably not. Let's not do that. Um, number five. Probably. Oh, man, that's that's tough. Um, official samurai. Thank you for following. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. let me think about that for a minute. There's so many good key sets out there. I'd probably say, uh, Napsarino, thank you so much for watching, man. Hope you tune back in next time. Have a nice night. Um, probably DMG. Oh, that, that fire set is going to be fire. It's going to be lit. <laughs> you can leave now if you want. <laughs> oh. Um, I, I don't know if Bento's up there with it. So, um... So let's say DMG, 9009. Um, GMK Metaverse. Um, let's think. Two would have to be... I'm, I'm going to say ones that are already out. So two is probably Honeywell. And my number one favorite key set, man. I don't know. Um, you don't gotta link these, Shota. It's all good, man. Uh, let me think. I'll get back to you on that last one for the main one. Let's see. Yeah, it's gonna it's be really dope. Um, man, ah. Uh, Still thinking on that one. That's a tough one. I would say Oblivion, probably. Number one would probably be Oblivion, actually. Yeah. Just such a good, clean set. Oh, it's not going to be pretty dope, yeah. If I had to, my number one set would be Jim K. Ashes. Oh, yeah, Jim, Jim K. Ashes is my favorite IC set right now. <laughs> is that a 60 or 6.25? Gringo Bandito, thank you for the... Did I put a 6 you stab in? Why does that line up? Interesting. Something feels off about this. Let me get the actual set.
Perfect sets. And GB and Icy Face. So I can tell you what GBs I'm in right now. I just joined um, GMK Sparta today. I like the set, but I don't know if that's going to make it. Um, you don't need to link them in. Um, GMK Vaporwave. GMK8008. Oh. Oh. Uh, I like Sparta because of the colors. Um, uh, sad to see it fail, man. Pour one out for the homie. Vaporwave looks dope. I can't wait. I think that's coming out next month. End of this month, early next month. I curse Sparta. Oof. I was the last purchase and I cursed it. Oh. Oh God. What did I do? I don't know. I, I think we're finally hitting that Jim K bubble. Potentially. Um, there was other sets I wanted this month, but I didn't buy. Jim uh, K Umbra. That one I, I liked. I ended up not buying it after all. Um, Jim K Alter. I really wanted to get that one, but I actually just bought uh, my plane ticket to Japan. So all my money this week went to that. And then I was looking up a key set today. I wasn't going to get it, but. Um, GMK High Voltage. That was supposed to launch like two months ago. Or not two months. Two days ago. Two or three days ago. And it just disappeared. So. That like. I I have no idea. The, the, the runner for it just dipped so japanese horror writer thank you so much for the uh thousand bits like always man the creator's ghosting his vendor really yeah i, I wasn't gonna join it but i just wanted to like watch see how it did See if a lot of people liked it, because it, personally, I, I wasn't a huge fan of it. But I was interested to see a uh, vendor buy it, or want to run it. So I was just, I wanted to see how that went. And then last month, I wanted to get Bingsu, but I unfortunately didn't have the funds for that either. Oh, snap, Geo's here. How's it going, Gio? Yeah, Olivia. Olivia is gonna do uh, a lot. I think it's gonna make a lot of money. People regretted not buying the first round of that. I owned GMK Olivia for a little bit. A friend sold it to me for a crazy good price. Um. So I uh, I had the opportunity to use it. And oh, fake trees. Ugh. Let's let's sit this where it can be in view. There we go. Or a mechanism. Thank you for the fake tree that you gave me the other day. That was really nice of you. How's it going, bud? Bud. Oh, there you are, buddy. So special guest is uh, my friend's Pomeranian button. He's chilling right next to me, staying warm, cozy. 
so. Yeah, see, that's the thing for Olivia. I actually didn't, I wasn't a fan of, oh, how do I do? Oh, this is weird. Like this or? That's weird. <laughs> Dark Olivia looks nice. Yeah, so I had S.A. Olivia too, and I like the set. The colors are nice on it. But Jim K. Olivia, I, I don't know what it was. I think I had it enough to where I, I got burnt out, and I just uh, I sold it. it. wasn't wasn't for me after all. I think the for some odd reason the old like OG sets are what like stay with me the longest so like gmk 9009 i had that for so long um gmk honeywell i had that for a long time um i i, I have had you in gmk honeywell for a while i have a um so the way i got gmk honeywell was i bought a uh bought a board that had gmk honeywell on it what's up drag how's it going tonight man thank you for tuning in My biggest stream tonight or to date, and I'm building an ISO board. <laughs> Monka S man. <laughs> What's up, Pluto? Oh, nice visionary. You got um, got it from him. You know, Lime actually is growing on me. I'm interested to see how that looks like in person. I'm sure someone at the SoCal Meetup will have it. I really am liking what I've seen in person, like from the, the pictures of it. I might, like no, no joke, I might try to get that from Mike. Celestria, thank you for the follow. I hope I said that right. A lot of people don't like, lime that much i honestly think it's a sleeper set like dmg i think give it give it a couple weeks once people start seeing it more at meetups i think people are going to realize oh this is actually a clean set so we'll see oh wow you have both now that's awesome caffeine connoisseur thank you for uh joining us tonight i hope you're having a nice night or day wherever you live. I know last time on my uh, when I was doing my 24-hour stream, ended up being 21 hours. But I was talking to a dude in Japan, which is wild to me. That people all the oh, oh, all over the world are interested in keyboards any given day or night, I guess for wherever you're at. So. You're on the fence with Jim K. Lime, Tiger God, or which set? I don't know if you guys follow me on Instagram, but I have a key set that I teased the other day. Uh, I call it Jim K. Bomb Type 3. And, um, oh, it's about dinner time. Nice. Yeah. For me, it's eight o'clock. So I guess for you, it's six o'clock, but, um, so Jim K bomb type three is, uh, themed after Jojo's bizarre adventure. It's the, uh, it's, it's one of the bombs for a villain called killer queen. Uh, I think he only gave me this many stabs, yeah. Oh no, he gave me more stabs. I'm trying to think, do I need any other stabs after this? Just three, right? For ISO? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, diamond is unbreakable. 
So, uh, the Killer Queen set that I have, I'm, I'm actually trying to work on getting the correct Rao colors that I want for it. I want to go with a good pink for, uh, for that. Yeah, thank you, Neb, for that post. But my phone, I've, like, I love Diamond is Unbreakable so much that I made that my ringtone whenever he clicks for the bomb. So, yeah, there you go. You'll hear it in the background. These clicks. And that's just my ringtone. It's not, It's very subtle. So, yes. I'm making a JoJo reference key set. That'll be the next project that I have going on after Ashes launches in March. But I wanted to tease it right now. I'm going to put put up the IC probably next month. I got to work on getting some more renders for it. So, all right, there's, I think that's all the stabs, right? This is trippy. Where does this go? The key goes side. Oh my. What? No, wait, hold, hold on. How does this go? I'm so confused. Whoa. This is new to me. <laughs> See, lubing stabs with Cristo 129. Um, describe the key set again. If you click the link that Neb posted, that, uh, yeah, that has my uh, Instagram account that shows the key set. So you can actually check it out right there. It's based on JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Yeah, I think stabs are good. You can get to building. sound I wonder if it's because is it the switch that's making that okay yeah that's good sweet okay let's get to building this board artisan that I can test out right here it's not DMG themed but it'll it'll work so if anybody here in the States is interested in doing a keyboard build I um, so I charge for lubing switches for a build but I will build your board for free I'm not really interested in like trying to make money from doing this I like doing it for fun if people tip me or donate bits, that's, I, I, I'd love that. That's how I would rather make the money from doing that, entertaining people. To me, this is like having fun. This isn't really like a job, I'd say, for building a keyboard. Because I do have a full-time job, so. You say if you don't have good soldering skills or something and you want to get a board done. Yeah, it's very relaxing too. Oh, man, this trips me out. 
So weird. <laughs> These trays that they have. Oh, thank you for the 50 bits, Neb. Uh, fixed bits. Yeah, I saw that a minute ago. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> when did I get my haircut? I actually just got it like probably like 10 minutes before I started the stream. Oh, Tiger got that. Yeah. Yeah, I just got back from the barbershop. I went and got a haircut and got a goatee. So I think for these, it's the, is it the inside one? What's up, buddy? Opener to switch puller. Oh, you should do that. These are holy pandas, yeah. If you do uh, exclamation point build, it'll. I have a description for that. There you go. Yeah. Oh, I could screw the plate back in. I'm I'm an idiot. Since we got the stabs in, we can just screw the plate back in. I think these screws that he has on the back are brass. They could either be brass or they're just aluminum uh, plated screws uh, or gold plated screws. I, yeah, I like them. They feel fine to me. I, this is the second batch that I've had. Um, the first one felt fine. One second, just screw a hole. The one downside that I'm noticing with these screwing this plate back in, the colors for the screws are the exact same as the traces. So <laughs> I'm like hunting, looking for them. There's one here. I think there's one more in this. Oh, I found it. These go. Oh, there you go. Let's see. One more screw go right there. Oh no, I see it. There we go, all the screws are back in. So, this is a switch. Okay, these aren't plate or PCB screw or mounts. So I need to get the switches out that I need, or the caps out that I need. Okay, I already noticed I put that one in the wrong one. Where's I 
I had a switch or a puller. puller. So are any of you guys going to the uh, LA meetup? The SoCal one. I still am in disbelief that Nathan rated me. That was super nice of him. It's funny, both boards that I built in Poly, I put Holy Pandas on. What's up, Toki? How's it going, man? So I don't know if any of you guys are either in Japan or have ever been to Japan, but me and my friends just book our, booked our flights and got an Airbnb there. I'll be going for two and a half weeks in March of next year, literally three days after GMK Ashes ends. So I'm really excited. Uh, we got a Airbnb that's a five minute walk from Shinjuku Station which was the most expensive Airbnb that we looked at, but it's, it's going to be worth it. The whole, the total for the Airbnb was like, I think six grand around there, but we got eight, eight guys going. So shouldn't be, shouldn't be too expensive. Let me break it down. We'll be going right before the Olympics, but I, I'm already guessing. Yeah, it's going to be. Yeah, Toki, Toki knows. Five minutes, dude. It was the nicest Airbnb that we, and the best part about it, like we thought about it because we, we were between that one and one that was a 45 minute train ride to Shinjuku. And the more we thought about it, we wanted to have stayed a place where the, uh, we can, if we ever go shopping, we can just come back. We can walk back to the, like, Airbnb, we don't have to take the train or anything. We're also getting the JR pass, so like that's what the I guess they use in Japan for uh, the train people that live there. So we'll be getting it for I think a month. And that'll cover all costs for the bullet train and any trains in Japan. Eat sushi with raw chicken. That's that is crazy. You went snowboarding in Japan a couple years ago. That's awesome. Yeah, I 
I can't wait to go. That's going to be a really fun trip. Me and the guys have been to... Yeah. Oh, definitely. We're, we've got it all figured out for transit. We're, we're only doing the train. That's it. Quantric? What is up, man? Have they lifted your ban on Mech Market yet? They're not all the same trains? I'll talk to them about that. Oh, interesting. Funny thing about that. Did they PM you? Oh. Is this new development in the story of Quantrick's band, the redemption arc of Quantrick? B3RBB. Thank you for the follow, man. Why are these clicking whenever I push down? Huh. Oh. They're not even going all the way into the plate. When I set them. That's interesting. These used to be more expensive, man. If you if you feel now they like yeah a lot of people pay a lot of money for these switches. They were paying more. At one point we had someone that paid seven dollars per switch for holy pandas. So Sultan Asleep, thank you for joining us tonight. Hope everything's going well. I'm here building a Think 6.5 with some whole mass drop holy pandas. You could have put a 7U spacebar in this. Yeah. Yep. $7. Yep. Nah, that's... I can confirm that it happened. I, uh... I saw someone do that. Buy, buy those. Like, I saw the listing and I know it sold. Just buy Alps? Yeah. For that price, you can just get some Blue Alps. No, cheaper than that, you can get Blue Alps, I think. Is it getting a little too warm for you? Hold on, let me turn on the AC real fast. It's getting a little warm in my apartment. He's one of the calmest dogs I've ever, like, known. So it works out. Did he buy just one holy panda? No, he bought, like, I think it was 70 holy pandas for $7 a switch. <laughs> it was some ridiculous price. This is right before word got out that, like, someone else was producing panda holy pandas. I don't know if you know about the drama that went behind all of that. Rumor had it that these weren't going to be holy pandas, that these were a lie, that the holy Jesus switch was the only holy panda out there. So. <laughs> yeah, Visionaire knows. That was that was crazy. He tried saying, no, I, I don't think he's in chat, but. Um. The, the the creator of the Holy Jesus Switch tried saying, hey, I got the guy in contact that made these. He wants to... Uh... That's on the wrong spot. He said the molds weren't destroyed. Another dude said the molds were destroyed. 
it was it was a confusing time and he just wanted to feel drama he bet money or he bet switches to people that mass drop wasn't going to deliver on time nobody they weren't going to have the samples and everything and the day of it comes around and <laughs> mass drop gets holy pandas and they're on top clack <laughs> and and the dude just disappeared. That was like the last day anybody ever heard from him. Like, nobody, nobody heard from uh, Super Van again. Yux, Yux came from out of nowhere, uh, and those are pretty good. Yeah. That's why, I, like, I'm not a huge fan of Holy Pandas. I get why some people are. These are good switches. They feel really nice, tactile. But like, they're just not for me. Uh. I don't know. Janky renderer. I around 500? Yeah, that sounds about right to me. I'll tell you when I finish this build, I'll, I'll give you my my honest opinion on it. Janky renderer, thank you for the follow, man. Typically, that's the markup for boards. It seems. Is this small shift? Oh. This was all with base kit? Oh, he didn't get. Oh, wow. Oh, this is the wrong shift. We're gonna make sure our switch alignment's correct. Where's the ISO keys? You know what? His shift has something on it. You can... My autofocus isn't that great. I'll point it out. It's right there. That black dot. That's an issue with the die sub. Let me see how much I use that shift. I think I'm going to give him my right shift. I, I don't care if mine has a little defect in it yeah mine doesn't have it and I haven't used it so he's getting my shift for anybody that wasn't here earlier here I'll show you the board my uh, personal this is my DMG board and this is not black this is actually blue but it's so dark that it matches the <laughs> the darkness of the actual caps, so. So the, um, the shift has a little nick of a defect. So the blue is peeking out from when it's not supposed to be. Whereas on mine, mine didn't have that issue. So I swapped out the two, uh, J Maisto, I don't know if you're the, the owner of it. I, I don't know the guy's uh, Twitch name, but um, that's what I'm probably gonna, I'm, I'm just gonna give it my shift. So, it's all done for that. Oh, uh, that's actually pretty straight. The one thing that's not straight is the backspace that I can fix. Oh yeah, 
Yeah. So. That seems to have fixed it a little bit. I think it's just the stabs. What's up, Metallic Charles? Thanks for tuning in. Tonight I'm building an ISO. Think 6.5. Get an alignment. Alignment's correct. I'm not correct with the camera. That's what it is. Yeah. For the most part, that's correct. I pushed in these switches all the way. ISO is interesting. Oh yeah, I love DMG too. Such a great set. Unfortunately, since I am uh, going to Japan and my friends did end up getting the most expensive Airbnb that we saw. I think I'm going to have to sell my DMG board. Which I, I don't want to. But by me selling it, someone else can enjoy it. And that'll give me money for that trip. But who knows? I might make more custom themed boards based off of like uh, other things. So when that GMK... Fire Nation set comes out um, that's based on Avatar. And when Mizu comes out, I'm thinking about making those themed boards, like for Avatar. Um, so, oh, I, I have it listed for 650 right now. Because uh, it's, I, I, a lot of work went into that and it's coming with DMG. DMG's a little bit shine, so. Let me get everything out of the way so we can start soldering. Sorry, fake tree. I really do. That DMG board was the first themed board that I've done. And I really like making themed boards now. I'd be interested in probably trying to do themed boards. <laughs> Where's my end of my spool? Here we go. So I think I've caught up on everybody who followed, subbed, and cheered. Thank you guys all so much. So I think today alone, I've gotten 6,444 uh, bits, which is blows my mind. Like I thank you guys so much for that. What switch is this? Oh, interesting. One of the switches where the uh, nebula. Thank you for one who's rounding, who needs round numbers. There we go. Yeah, this Hako 888D, by far, I've had it for over a year. It's, I had the last solder iron that I had lasted like a good like four months. This one's been, I've had it over a year. It's been a good solder iron. Hmm. 
What do you use Nebulent for? Uh... Yeah, Hako doesn't have a silicone cord, you're right. Maiko eats clams. Thanks for joining us tonight. Hope you're having a nice night. It's funny, so I started my uh, stream at Pango Win. Thank you for the follow. I started my stream right at 7.03, and I had walked in my door like at 7.02. I was panicking I wasn't going to get the haircut done in time. Whenever anybody's asking me for uh, solder irons, uh, Neb, I always tell them Wellers. Because, like, Weller seems like it's the best thing for your buck. Like, it'll last you a good long time. What time is it? Eight? Okay. We're only an hour and a half into the stream? Wow. Why does it feel like forever? Yeah, exactly one hour and a half. Oh, you're getting off uh, Jay Maisto? Going to bed? Thank you for tuning in, man. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Thank you so much, man. See you next time. So I hope everybody gets to have a good Thanksgiving tomorrow and eats a lot of food. Not too much. You don't want to overdo it. I don't think I'm going to be eating a lot of starches because I've been like trying to go work out. Like probably when the stream ends, I'm going to go to my gym or go run around my apartment complex. It's a good temperature outside. Let me move the mic out of the way a little bit. Turkey from Popeyes. Yo, they have turkey at Popeyes? Catch Pokemon while I run. Raid hour already passed up, though. My apartment complex doesn't even have good Pokemon. Turkey from Bill Miller's is, yeah, I know a lot of people get turkey from Bill Miller's. Well, turkey from Popeye's. Michael, that sounds, that's awesome. <laughs> I had no idea. First they do new chicken sandwiches and then they do turkey from turkey. That's crazy. I think this one's a ball.
If any of you guys are looking for a desolder pump, this Engineer SSO2 solder sucker, really good. All the solder right there. So I I originally tested one out, Neb, and it um it was actually had too much suction. Like when I pushed it, it pushed up. Yeah, where's my I got it all right here, the extra silicone. Yeah. It actually came with extra silicone tubing with mine. So I've actually cut some up. This one's actually a smaller amount. Like if you can see, very tiny. Like it's all the way up to the nozzle. So. The one it came with got stuck too much. I'll bring it to the SoCal meetup. That way you can see. We can desolder something there. Yeah, I cut my I cut it back for sure. So I don't know if any of you guys are into tech wear fashion. Today I bought some uh, new shoes. I got myself uh, some new Nikes. They just came out today. The uh, they're called the ISPA Joyride Envelopes. I got a pair of the black ones. And then I have some, I also got other shoes earlier in the week, um, Akron Prestos. So I'm diving in deep into the shoe game. No, I got those last week actually, I'm gonna say. I think this is Christmas music again, but you know what? I'm gonna leave it on because we're one day away from Thanksgiving. So holiday music is here. Rory Mechanism, you keep winning those Gengars, don't you? Yeezy's resale ain't what it used to. Yeah. See, these enjoy, uh, or the, the, the Joyride envelopes. Everybody, my friends are thinking that they were going to resell for like stupid amounts. I think they're still on Nike's site. They've been up there all day. So I, I don't think they're going to sell out. Which, hey. That's good. They need good shoes like that on their site. 
None of us were planning on reselling. We only two of us bought them because like we both want to wear them. I at first I didn't like them, but it started growing on me. Let's see, we're about halfway done with this build. And we'll get that sound test going for this. Oh wow, you won the, the Grookey Kipora? There was a Grookey Kipora? Whoa, 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 whoa. That was my starter, man. Oh, I didn't even know it was last drop. The last one that I saw that I entered in was the, or tried entering in was the Zuko one. That was pretty dope. Had the scar like Zuko. I am Mechanist. Thank you for the follow, man. How's it going tonight? Is this the Mechanist that makes the uh, the boards? Aw. How's it going tonight, man? Thanks for tuning in, though. It's always nice seeing new faces around here whenever I stream. Like I'm, you don't understand how happy I am to see like people like that are genuinely in this community that want to like start. Oh, oh, you make, okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, my friend, one creative mind told me a lot about you, dude. That's awesome. Thank you for tuning in. But yeah, like the amount of people in the community that are willing to watch other people stream is overwhelming. It's fantastic. Cause like playing games and stuff, typically you get nobody want to watch. Oof. Oof. I'm not gonna read that message out loud. There's a reason why Automod held it back. <laughs> That'll be a joke for me and you. <laughs> Our eyes only. <laughs> I'm gonna tell him you said that. No, I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> but yeah, like I love this community. It's there's ups and downs with it. There's some people that aren't have Ill, Ill intentions, and there's a lot, a lot of people that are very wholesome. Everybody's super helpful. Okay, I think we're getting up to the switch, boys. This is one of them right here. Here we go. Ah, uh, yeah. I wouldn't say all communities are this welcoming. Like, I feel like the... Like, Destiny community is not as welcoming as this one. Or, like... Other communities just aren't always as as nice as they could be.
Oh, I love this soldering station. Had it for a while. Um, I have half of it behind my computer. And then the other half right here with me. I'm gonna give my hand a break for a second. All right, let's get back at this. We'll test that out in a minute. Does anybody know, does this work with QMK or VIA? I don't know what this works with. It doesn't say on it. I don't, I, yeah, they're free. I, I don't charge for builds. <laughs> yeah, if you want to get one, something built for me, man, just um, shoot me a message. I, I already have kind of like a, a lineup. Yeah. Uh, I do accept tips and bits. That's always uh, nice. You don't have to donate anything. Um, I like doing this for fun. Streaming is just a, another hobby of mine. We'll send nudes. Oh, Gio, there you go. Thank you, Gio. You good. You Gucci. Gio's actually here. What's funny is I kind of want to step back from the community. So I'm not on RMK and stuff every day. Um, how many boards have I built so far? Man, that's a good question. Probably in the 30s or 40s. I built a lot of boards. Oh, wow. I wonder how Nathan sits when he solders that way. Does he hunch over or does he chill, lean back? Thank you. Thank you for the, the link to my Discord. So I have a Discord there. Um, I'm still working on getting things going. Um, I got links for my key set, key sets. You, you can't see the second one yet. I'm still working on what I'm going to do for my second key set. I did tease it on my Insta. Um, I might open it up and just leave that teaser there. But... Yeah, I, I do ping every, everybody whenever I stream. Uh, I usually tell what I'm going to stream in there. When I'm going to be off or like not stream that day, I usually update everybody in there too. Um, so I would, if you guys want, you can join my Discord. You also get my emotes that I have. Those are open to the public. Anybody can use those if they want. I think so far I got three. Yeah, I have a build list, which I don't think is accurate because this came up out of nowhere. Might be. There was a dude who was going to send me a whale that I, I got a contact back. I don't know if he still wants to send that to me for build. I have a Satisfaction 75 coming in from a customer. Uh, they're just having that shipped straight to me. Um, I'm going to be, I guess, getting a Baca soon too. That'll be a, a cool build. That's a win keyless 60%. Um, and then I have KVD 67 to build. Uh, what else? 
A Bower to build? There we go. There's one of them. Tyson Omega Law. I had no idea that... Uh, what is it? What's the... Snapchat had an Omega Law filter. So, Omega Lol. They put the reset button right above the, right there. So it's right next to the trace. If I was making a keyboard, I would put the reset button, pro tip, I would put it under the base bar on this, space bar on this side. So all you gotta do is pop out the space bar or put it right here, like Zondat does for his uh, boards. The Noxray boards all have the boards right here. See, yeah, the J01, I think that's actually where I got the idea from. J01's reset pin is like perfect. Because why why am I gonna have to unscrew my board just to press the button? It's a pain in the butt. Which I a lot of people don't think about it when it comes around time for building their board. Just a small quality of life change that I would do. I think Bun's fast asleep. Bun? Yeah, Bun's asleep. Good doggo. Okay, I think it's all done. I'll solder together. It feels hefty now. For sure. Okay, let's test it. Before I screw it all back, to, back in. Or right, let's put the keycaps on it. Yes, I will be at the LA meetup, the SoCal meetup. Sam Kim, thanks for the follow, man. How you doing tonight? I'm doing the uh, famous Nathan Kim nipple uh, grab. Buy a new chair. <laughs> I got this chair last, I'll show you what it is. Last Black Friday. It's just a cheap, cheap Amazon chair. That's all, it's got no armrest or nothing. 14 times 71, thank you so much for joining us tonight. How's he going? Right? I love button, dude. Yeah, thank you, man. No problem. Yeah, if you ever need any help, too, we've got a lot of people in Discords. More than willing to help out. This doesn't sound too bad. Okay, pretty good. Well, let's go with all the... I put normal caps.
Nice. Yeah, I stream around the same time uh, every Monday too. I try to I try to have Monday streams. I do Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday streams. But since tomorrow is Thanksgiving, I decided to do a uh, Wednesday stream. So, We're... what do we want for the top up here? These two. Home and end? No, page up, page down. Let's do that. Yeah, page up, page down. Oh, uh, where's the power key? Battery or power? I don't think there is a power key, actually. Yeah, there is no power key. It's a battery, though. Nathan's method for getting caps out is pretty genius. Because you're able to turn with your hand. I might fix some issues that I see with crookedness. Nipple rubbing, okay. So, hey, what up, Mask? How's it going tonight? Thank you for tuning in. So, this build has gone actually pretty well. So, there we go so far. Oh, thanks for the uh, sub. Welcome to my sub club. <laughs> so cheesy. So, um, reason for that, that putting them up, what I'm doing is I'm grabbing them from the side, you see? My hands are turned. So when I do this, I can't just sit them in easily. So I, I sit them on my, my chest or on my nipples. I flip them, flip my hands around them, and then I can easily just put them down both at the same time. Big brain. See, up high is too, too high. Right? The nipples are like in the perfect spot to do that. Like I, I'm not like reaching far, so nah. So I can grab two with these. Yeah, these don't come with the accent handles. I just realized that. Okay, I think I'm gonna find out. If you guys are going to the LA meetup, we need to have a test, a method test. We're gonna do Nathan's grabbing and putting them on a board. See which one's faster. Because I feel this one's really fast. Actually, alignment's not bad. I'm just gonna leave it. That actually looks really good. Well, let's test before I screw in because I don't wanna screw this all back together and then come to find out that some of the switches aren't Need to be reflowed. Yo, that's hot.
Oh, this is gonna throw me off on a switch test or a uh, type test. I'm scared. Did I put these in wrong? <laughs> I love how that space. Right? Space for stocky. Oh my god. This is trips me up so much. So, oh man. So it looks like it's all good to go. Uh, I gotta move some stuff around. I gotta find out if this is via compatible or Q and K. Switches, these are holy pandas. Uh, here, actually. Uh. Yeah. Let me put the right caps on. Did I put it wrong? Those are the only ISO keys it came with, right? Am I tripping? I feel like there should, oh, here it is. So. Yeah, if you guys are interested in getting, um, why is it J pop up there? Interested in getting uh, Jim K. Terra. Uh, Dixie Mech has it for sale on his site. That's a green set that's going to match the avatar, all the elements. So I would go check that out on his site. Backspace is crooked. I tried fixing that and it... I think it's the stab. No, it's not crooked. I, I don't know. It's hard to tell. I'm not used to some of the spacing. It looks okay from this angle. Let's see, can I get it from QMK? Let's see. Yeah, it sounds pretty good. I ran out of labels. To, uh, like the things. I did take some of them to the, to the uh, post office today though. I do need to get yours out, Nib. 
It's gonna. It's so it's getting out. Actually, I might drop it off tomorrow. It, it would. The latest it would ship would be Friday, meaning that you'd probably get it Monday or Tuesday. That way, you do have time to build it in time for the meetup. Yeah, I know they're closed tomorrow, but actually, you can go inside the post office and drop off boxes. Like, you're not going to SoCal? Oh. Hold on. Give me one second. Close. One moment. Let's go all back together. But, oh. Okay, still, you could build it next week. You'll be getting it next week. The, the board looks insanely good. Although, that color, do be careful with it. It does seem like it scratches easily. I didn't realize that until I scratched the back of my Osa last stream. I don't know if you remember seeing that. Um, but they're micro scratches, so they do show up and they're very thin, but I would be very careful with it. That texture is, that texture on it's out of this world, man. Like it feels so like crazy cool. I like it a lot. Oh, that's why this board says not to tighten the screws all the way. Cause it's polycarbonate. So if you tighten it too tight, it messes up the, ah, you could damage it. There's inserts, but, uh... you just can't, you can't push down hard. Like you can't keep turning because you'll damage it. We'll wait this thing too in a minute. Mask, if you're still watching, just let me know when you want to meet up tomorrow. Uh, crack the PC. No. No, 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 no. I can't do that, Vernon. Vernon. So. I find that insane. When you look from PC from the side, it gets really glossy. But that's not how the, the actual texture is in real life. Like, it's nothing like that. <laughs> it's a button in stream. Barely. You can see him. See him right there. <laughs> He's just... He's just napping. Let's see. I gotta take him out in a little bit. myself a dog i want a shiba inu i love shibas i think i've talked about that on stream before maybe i'm really impressed this polycarbonate no warp at all this is probably the straightest polycarbonate i've actually seen what's even crazier is the gap like because on some of my poly boards, I've had gaps, I've had warps, I've had like, you know when you put two pieces of a board back together and um, you could feel the edge, you could feel the, the separation between the two? 
for this polycarbonate one, it's really tight. You almost can't feel it. So it, like they did a good job with this. I'm really impressed by Pink 6.5. This angle is my favorite too. What's up, Langlandia? How are you doing tonight, man? Let's see. I'm going to see if this is VIA compatible. Tight grip. Right? It sounds awesome. So this is not VIA compatible. Common price. Common price to spin on a board, I'd say, is about. Depends on what board you're going for. A good budget would be four hundred dollars if you want GMK keycaps. Yeah, I would say around a two fifty to three hundred dollar board, and then GMK keycaps cost anywhere from a hundred to like one eighty if you buy them in a group buy phase. But if you buy them from like second hand, it's going to cost you like two hundred, three hundred dollars sometimes. It's nuts. This DMG set, round one was going for what, like, I think people were selling it for three fifty. I got lucky and I, uh, yes, I would say uh, GMK is top of the line. SA is also high up there. Um, the only difference is that SA Signature Plastics, those sets automatically start off around two hundred dollars. Like if you get them during group buy phase or if you buy them like from Signature Plastics site. They, uh, oh, I bought a water. They, they have a lot of good colors and t they've been matching a lot of GMK sets now. So it all depends on how, like, if you like that profile, if you like that scooped feeling of the, the, uh, SA caps, there's more of those like profiles coming out too. So let's see. Actually, let's turn it around when I plug it in. It's type C. I can just flip it and plug it back in. Ooh. Hmm. That's interesting. The LEDs don't go all the way over here. It's a little bit lopsided. But it's because the badge is right here. So I guess that's to not take away from that. I feel they could have uh, not had one more. They could have moved these a little bit, maybe. I don't know. It's interesting. Yeah, I don't know how to change the color. I don't know what this is set to. So I do like how you can see the badge. That's pretty sick. So let's put the feet on real fast. Function ASDF, you think? Yeah, that's what I've been seeing. Yes. Oh, you got one of the, wow, mask. You actually got one of the uh, second ones. I paid, so you paid around the same price I paid for mine. I paid 250 for my DMG when I got it. Um, but I know people were selling it on mech market for, uh, what is it? Like going around 350 for base kit. It was nuts. Oh, base plus the two other, 
I guess, space bars, and I think there was an accent kit? I thought there was accent arrows that I had for mine, but I could be totally wrong. That's nutty. No, you would think that the price would drop, but it's not going to drop. It's probably going to stay up there. Uh, a lot of people are over the Holy Panic craze, but okay. I'm going to go ahead and try to do a typing test with this. Let's see if I can do it. So I'm going to tell you right now, if you guys want to predict my typing speeds, I range from... 35 to 50 so not that big of a variety you can i'm really slow at typing uh with chrome there we go okay let's pause this music okay let's go back 77 no way I'm on an ISO board. There's no way I'm going to do 77. I told you, I, I was not a seat. <laughs> I know my range. <laughs> That's one of my highest ones. <laughs> so 50. Yeah. Okay. So I got to figure out what, what programming this uses. I think it's QMK. I would hope it's QMK. I like it. Um, I would go ANSI for sure. But it's an interesting board. Now that I uh, have built it in ISO, I've noticed that it's QMK. ISO Compat. Now, I wasn't good, like... I wasn't big on what I was going to do for ISO Combat uh, for Ashes, but I want to make sure there's at least one standard ISO in it, because from my understanding, this is not standard. Maybe it is. I don't, I don't know. It, it doesn't feel standard to me. Just, I feel like this key should be up here and this one should, like, they should be switched, but that's the right profile for it. Unless I'm crazy. Yeah. That's the only ISO keys I saw in the kit. So, I guess I'll program it. I don't know what key this is called for it though. So, but let's see. Let's compare the two. So, Nordic. Yeah, Nordie is like hard to find in any kit i think the one that had it was dracula which is shocking okay mask i don't know if you saw my keyboard for dmg because i own it too 
This is my Game Boy themed one. So. A little bit quieter than, than the Think. Oh, Casper. <laughs> what, what up, man? <laughs> yeah. This... This board, I think you're really gonna like. I like the weight, the heft. It's really nice. Where's my scale? Oh, oh there it is. So we'll weigh the X60 to show what like. This one has a, a full brass weight in it. That one weighs 4.14, four pounds, 1.14 ounces. What? Oh, well, shit, hold on. Four point one five ounces and eighteen fifty six. Is that right? That's grams. Where is yeah? Your board weighs two ounces three or two pounds three ounces. What would be really cool is if they made one that weighed. Six pounds, five ounces. <laughs> Let's see, what is the 992 grams? Oh, they have think brasses after all. That's funny. That'd be hilarious if it weighs six pounds, five ounces, or somewhere around there. I wish I had another polycarbonate board to test this out with, compare it. But like, mount-wise, this isn't as bad as I thought it would be. Yeah, I thought it'd be a little bit heavier too. It's pretty light. It's good enough for a work board. If you guys were taking, planning on taking this to work, or if you guys work from home, this will be really nice to use. This will be nice to game on too. Yeah. So it's the Think 6.5. I actually bought a poker. I, that's the only. I'm actually thinking about re putting in switches in it and Sarah coding that board to change it up a little bit. Maybe use that one for work. So yeah. It's got red LEDs in it now. Oh, so it says Old Cat and Air Potter. Which, I, I've talked to Old Cat a little bit. Air Potter I haven't talked to at all, but... Yeah. Yeah, dude. Holy Pandas are nice. They sound really nice. They're really tactile. Really tactile. <laughs> okay, guys. I think... Yeah, that Chinese wall. Yeah, basically translation wall so i think we're gonna raid somebody tonight i think i'm gonna be ending the stream this is pretty short stream i didn't realize this build was an actually, actually gonna be really quick so let's see who's streaming right now oh apiary should we raid apiary or should we raid mechs on deck oh he's interviewing mike from novel keys let's raid mechs on deck because i've raided apiary before so Mike's a good friend of mine. I've seracoded a couple of his boards. He's helped me out with my meetups. Um, so. Mech's on deck. Okay. 
So I guess, can we say... Uh... I, I don't know, what, what should we say for a raid? Leak something, Mike. <laughs> nah, I don't want to say that. That'd be, that'd be too cheesy. Uh, happy Thanksgiving. Yes. No, they, they change colors. Uh, I'm going to work on all of that, and I'll let you guys know what it is uh, off stream. So if you guys just want to raid, spamming Happy Thanksgiving to them. So, there you go. And let's start doing a raid. Thank you guys all for watching. Uh, thank you guys all for the bits, the subs, and the follows. It was, it was a lot today. I think this is the biggest day I've had on stream, so... Thank you guys all. Hope you guys have a nice night and um, see you in the next stream. Thank you guys.